I'm going to see how long I can go before I interrupt you. My concern is why. Right? Well, because I don't think I am, Sam, because I think that the fundamental message in the New Testament, for example, is that so each then you acknowledge that the Old Testament, if we, so, so Jews are in possession of a book that has some diabolical passages that would be better left out. <laughs> I love that. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> I thank you. I you're, love you're not that. going to offend no, me. I'm Jewish. Not, I, 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 th Sam, thank you. Believers imagine that you're stuck with every passage. And there are passages in the Old Testament that tell you to stone a, a, a girl or a woman who's not a virgin on her wedding night, take her to her father's doorstep and stone her to death. That's a good idea. I'm going to tell you why. In that world, ancient world, they didn't have soap. They didn't have contraceptives. They didn't have HIV tests. Who knows what kind of diseases were going around. Now, you got a society. These are super big people on uh, wait until marriage. And this girl comes in and she's got other background issues in her life. She's lied about it in that culture. She would have had to. She's lied about it. This very big, important stuff about her that affects her health and who she is as a person. You know, and it, the character being honest and she's lied about this. Well, God knows that we could be dealing with all, all kinds of diseases that could kill the one society that God is able to use without violating other laws, without violating 2 Peter 3, 9, be patient so that everyone can come to repentance. God's using Israel to, to deliver the world from this horrific darkness, even slavery itself progressively, as I've explained. And we're not going to have the society get sick because we're going to let the girl that went off and got sick and she lied about her wedding and going to stay together. N n no, we've got to, we've got to uh, draw a line in the sand and we've got to put the stone down, so to speak, uh, literally maybe. And we've got to say, no, you are not going to do this thing that's going to make people sick. Look, I'm an English teacher. Uh, I've been, been in the past. I've got here an English teacher in Taiwan and I have to take an HIV test every year if I'm teaching English in the schools. This is a big deal. This is not a joke. I don't think you give credit to that. And it's not just, oh, I think everybody can agree. I mean, not just, I mean, no, 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 you've got a, this is a tall order to prove and you need to at least out rule out what I said. If you're going to make that claim, Sam, absolutely wrong. We don't give enough credit to how evil and horrible things were. They didn't have soap. They, and God's not going to teach them technology. Because the book of Enoch, the angels came down, taught technology, and that made things far worse. Humans have to learn technology. God gave them everything you need to know. Be good people. Don't lie about these important things. Go get in water as often as you can to stay clean. Clean? What's that? Well, it's when you're not dirty. Dirty? What's that? It's what you are. I am? You don't know it yet because you're, we're not to the utopia that I'm going to lead you through through thousands of years to eventually get to that's going to take to. But I do love you. And you've got to learn science on your own, God's saying. And, uh, but you're going to, this is not something you're going to lie about. I'm not having you, you may not understand it. Sam might not understand it 6,000 years in the future, 5,000 years in the future. He might not get it, but I get it. Actually, that would be uh, 4,000 years in the future. Sam might not get it, but I don't care. I love you too much. I'm not having you guys get sick like this. Sam, that's a reasonable argument, and you can't be so absolute about this. And you've got to at least talk about that if you're going to make your point. Right. And where you find We can probably right. agree that those are wrong. So, yeah, there's but, but, Jordan, you surrendered. That was the wrong thing to say. It's because you guys are out of your league. And, and uh, look, look, <laughs> look at, at the look on Brett's face. Yup, Jordan, you surprised all of us there. <laughs> no. You should not have surrendered that one, Jordan. You should have supplied information. Like, but but you, don't have, you don't have to read the book to the end to know that it's wrong. I mean, you can get... uh, no, I don't have to read the book to the end to know that it was right. I just have to know that they didn't know what soap was. Soap was invented in the 1800s. You can get that from the paragraph. It... The people clapping, his, his podcast audience, his, his readers... <sighs> It, it, it's not, he didn't spike the ball like you guys think he did. Not like you think. There's still more argue. It wasn't that easy. It's because the people in the room don't know what's really going on. They don't know what arguments to supply to this.